Whose fault is that that those children are obese? The parents. He is a local pediatrician with some strong words for parents. If your child is out of control, eating junk food, not sleeping, throwing temper tantrums, he says it's your fault. But all new at 6 o'clock tonight, he says you can turn it around, and local parents swear by his techniques. Tonight, we're sharing some of his cry stopper secrets with you. Pretend to cough. Oh, very nice. Joyce Schuster's six year old daughter Michelle eats broccoli, sleeps through the night, and doesn't whine or throw temper tantrums. And Joyce credits her pediatrician in West Boca, Dr. Aaron Cowabloo. Sometimes I, I go to a restaurant and people stop me and tell me, How come your children eat whatever you tell them and they stay in the table for an hour? Dr. Cowabloo says today's parents are turning their children into obese, misbehaving, sleep deprived kids, all because the parents are. Are cry stoppers. For the last 15 years, I see that most parents and grandparents get hypnotized when the child cries. An older effort, 100% of the energy, goes towards the effort, please, baby, don't cry. Dr. Cowabloom has three basic rules. If it's bad for your child, don't do it. If it's good for your child, do it. And never say, I will try. Either do it or don't do it. For instance, if your child is whining, he says, ignore him. Don't even establish eye contact. Don't punish the child. Don't give them time out. When the child whines or throws temper tantrums, you pretend he's not there. If your child wants to drink juice and eat carbs all day, buy it. I don't care if it's brown rice or whole wheat bread. It's still bread. It's still the carbohydrate. And that's a sugar. And for goodness sake, Dr. Cowabloom says, get your kid on a sleep schedule. Are you coughing a lot or not anymore? Three-year-old Noah Goldfarb is sleeping through the night after his parents took the doctor's advice. Our schedule, for example, is we always have dinner by 6, 6.10, and by 7 o'clock the kids are in the bath, and by 8 o'clock they're in bed. And there's really no wiggle room with that, and our kids sleep through the night. These parents agree it's not easy. Joyce even had one dad threaten to call 911 on her when she was letting her daughter cry it out at the park. So I said to him, I can show you my phone. You want to call 911 from my phone? I'm not hitting her. I am just letting her cry because she wants a swing and it's full. But they say it's worth it because you will have a different child when you end your cry stopping ways. And it was the end of the story. Never again. You do it one time and that's it. You'll never have a problem again. He has some really great advice. Dr. Dr. Cowell Bloom has written this entire book on the subject. There's some great techniques in here to get your child on track and help you stop becoming a cry stopper. It's available at Barnes and Noble or Amazon.com. And we're actually fighting over that book right yes, now. Yes, I am going home and reading this thing right now because I want my child out of my bed. Well, pass along to me. <laughs> and for the Matthews, our daughters are all grown up. We don't have.